Hey tankers, welcome back to the channel. Today, it's your Sunday Best, episode 98. Yes, episode 98. Oh my god, guys, we are two weeks away from episode 100. I can hardly wait. We are going to have a good time. I've got four good videos for you that I've, a couple of them I've recorded, a couple of today, a couple of them I pulled out of the archives that I've had uh, sitting around. So let's get into this. Grab yourself a cup of coffee, uh, an orange juice, something to drink. Grab yourself a snack and sit back, relax, because here we go. We are going to start off at number four with myself, Dejamvis. In the TS-60, you can see I'm here on Himmelsdorf. This, by far, since buying it, is my favorite Tier 8 TD. This is just a Tier 8 beast. Um, you can run this one with the heavies. You can run it with the mediums. If you stay in back, you can just kind of put this wherever you want to. Face your enemy, maybe angle up a little bit to you know angle up that lower plate or put that lower plate behind something. And you are in a good spot to start whooping butt because this is a fun tank. Um, the reload is only 7.8 seconds. You can see where I'm at. Um, that is not bad. And it's putting out mid 400 for damage. This is a fun tank. I've enjoyed every single game in this, even losses. It's just a fun tank. You can run with the heavies. You can um, be right behind them. Um, you can even frontline a little bit if you need to in this one. So this is a fun tank. It is really, really a solid entry. Um, you know, it's kind of the same frame as a, uh, um, the, what is it, the, the American, um, uh, the other American, um, heavy, the, the, I'm blanking on it, the, it's not a, Cherokee, Chieftain, I don't know, whatever, a pad, whatever, Comanche, I don't know what the hell it is, but it's got an Indian name, but anyways, it's got a rear-mounted turret like that tank does, that tank is super quick, this tank is not as quick, it's got more armor, it's got a better gun, um, and of course it's a TD, not a heavy, but this tank is very solid, and, and you know, here you can see I'm, I'm facing a, a an ST1, a, a tier nine heavy. I'm gonna put a shot right at the cheek. I am angling up and going to play, try and play a very smart game. The heavy in front of me just went down, but uh, I reloaded and that um, ST1 is looking the wrong way and I put another shot through the cheek of his turret. Um, you don't wanna give this tank any advantages. Um, it's already a pretty damn strong tank, and if you start angling the wrong way when you're facing it, you're gonna be in trouble like that guy was here. So here it is, I'm not fast enough to keep up with these bigger tanks, these you know, heavies and mediums and stuff, but I'm able to get in there and be part of this. Um, I determined at this point there's somebody coming from behind. I'm gonna put a shot through the wall maybe. And there we go. The, yeah, I put a shot into the, looks like a Carnivon there. Uh, put a shot into him, I'm reloading, put in another one. Um, looking for him, he's gonna angle up. Uh, he got the wrong angle for me there. He's trying to angle up a little bit. Um, he didn't get it. There's the, uh, um, that was a ISU-152. He goes down, but he put a big blast into me, which kind of hurts, but I'm not, it's not going to slow me down. I'm going to keep going here. And there is the, uh, looks like an E75. Um, he goes down quick. This is not a, fa uh, not a slow game. This one went pretty quick, but an ace is an ace. And I'm going to finish with 3,670 damage in this game. Um, 3,679 3, damage, two kills. Uh, 168,000 credits made in game. This is just a fun tank. I'm really enjoying it. Visually, the only thing I would change on that is I'd put that big blade on the back on the front of the tank because I think that'd be look pretty badass. Anyways, that brings us into the Earl of Campwich in the S Snowstorm Jagtiger. We can see he is here on Yamato Harbor. In front of him is Dr. Nefario. 
his papa, aka Sam, and they are just going to go to the uh, atypical um, sniper spot for the TDs and just start pounding people. Um, they got some mediums over here on the medium side. That guy's going to poke, making a mistake. Um, yeah, he puts a nice shot into that TDP. You can see he's looking for the track wheel. He doesn't get it. Uh, his dad gets it. He finishes him off, and there's our first kill of the game. Now, being an experienced player, you know that where, where Earl is firing now, there's probably somebody hiding there. And so we're gonna, you know, we're gonna watch the damage end of this game and see what happens because he put two shots into that bush and let's see what happens there. Uh, anyway, so he's back to watching, he's taking his time. He's got all the hit points, excuse me, here we go. See, there was some people down there, and they are damaged. Two guys both take damage. I bet both those shots were going to be Earl's. Anyways, so that uh, Earl misses a shot on the AMX 5100, but he puts puts a shot in, looking for the guy to to re re, -moot, re back up. He puts a nice shot into the uh, RHM Borsig, fires another shot blindly in there. See if he gets a shot. There's that AMX again. Uh, nice shot into the side. Reloading, reloading, reloading. Can he get it? Somebody else gets it. Nice. Here comes the uh, RHM Borsig. He gets hit by Earl as he's going down the hill. Um, and he gets finished off again by somebody else. So Earl's going to reposition himself. Go around a corner here. There's two TDs. You can see them on the map. Um, both of them AT, AT-15s are probably platoon partners. Um, girl comes up real hard, hits that guy for a smash, gets the kill, and right away is, is in a good position to put shots in the other AT-15A. He's got one shot out, uh, one shot to the side for the kill, and that's it. Nice ace. Both Earl and his daddy finished the match. Earl is going to finish with the ace, and he is going to put out 3,910 damage with three kills. High caliber, nice ace mastery, Earl. Good job, buddy. And 245,000 credits in game. That was your number three video. That, my friends, is going to take us to the next one, and that will be your number four video when we eventually get done looking at all these stats. Number four is going to be Dr. Nefario in the Badger. So uh, here he comes. He's a, uh, he is on also on Yamato Harbor and this is a tier 10 match. Um, he's high tier. He comes right over and right away spots up two tanks. He gets a E75 and I didn't see what the other one was yet, um, but right away he's put two shots, or bounced one and put one into the E75, or to put them both in, but E75 is definitely dropping hit points right there. And Sam is in a really good spot. He's hauled down. Um, there's no reason at this point to pull forward. Here's the E75 again. Um, he does not take that shot. It's, uh, it wasn't worth it. Uh, now he's going to bump up. He's going to get, in, you know, itchy. He wants to get some targets, and these guys are not engaging. Um, cap that base as well. Those points never hurt. Doing a good job looking around the map and making sure there's nobody on this side. Or any opportun other targets of opportunity. Puts a nice HE shot in there. Gets a broken track. Uh, keeps it aim aimed in. Keeps on the HB HE. And gets one more shot in there. Now it's only... It's under 200 damage both shots. But one of them broke a track. And we can tell by the broken track that he is... Uh, that he is out of repair kits. Which... Um, it's That stinks. It's too early in the game to be out of repair kits. 
He's engaging the ST, uh, ST1. He's backing up. You can catch him when he comes around the corner. Misses a shot. Uh, that pushes the ST1 forward. Unfortunately for him, this Badger has a really quick reload for Big Heavy. He bounces off the Badger, and um, Sam come around, comes around the corner, puts a shot in. He's going to pop right up. Takes another bounce. There's a grill back there now he's got to watch out for. Um, aiming in, and the grill backs up at just the perfect time to avoid that shot. Uh, that was luck right there, bud. Uh, here, Sam puts a shot through the turret on the ST1. He's going to his reload. He's going to come around a the corner. There's that grill again. Um, puts, a, puts a nice shot at HE in there, although it didn't do massive damage. I'm kind of curious if the... Uh, damage on this on HE isn't that good on this tank but you'd almost think with it being British that he'd get heat but maybe not or hash but maybe not uh, so he puts a nice shot into the E75 the VK90 pulls up gets smacked and killed he's out of the game um, but he takes hits that were meant for Sam and that works we're knocked down to three opponents left on the other team He's coming our corner. One of them is a T110E4. Uh, it takes a hit from E4 and misses a shot or bounces it. He's going to push up and he's got a heavy coming up on the E4. So he's got some help coming in. So maybe that E4 will turn and he does. Um, and that puts Sam on the side of this thing. He's going to get right up there, smack him, try and keep him somewhat from turning or getting around him. Puts another shot in. The E4 is taken care of. He's going to let the E100 take care of him and he pulls forward. We've got a Sheridan left over here and that's about it for this team. Um, oh, he misfires. He comes up over the mountain. That's an oops. He might have gotten that shot in. He's just now spotted so that Sheridan's going to be pretty shy, I'm going to guess. But Sheridan, you can't stay there forever, dude. Somebody's going to chase you down. And here it comes. Gets a nice snapshot into this Sheridan as he pulls out. Sheridan's going to run for it. Um, I'm watching points here. It's it's right at the end of this. He gets another shot in the, in the Sheridan. Leaves him down to a fumes under 100 hit points. Um, snaps a shot. Almost gets it. It hits the rock as the Sheridan passes through that little crack. That would have been a hell of a shot, but he misses it. Um, and we are going to hit points here, guys. This is the Sheridan is out there. I don't see him. He's hidden. He's unspotted. Um, doesn't matter. There's points. There's game. And Sam, aka Doctor Nefario, ends up with five thousand five hundred and two damage for our number two video in the countdown. One kill, high caliber, ace, ace mastery, two. 189,000 credits in game. And that, my friends, will bring us to the number one video of the countdown. And that is going to be Simon Travers in the T-57. We can see he is here on Naval Frontier. And this is going to be an interesting game. Um, Simon's play is pretty dang straightforward. But right here at the end, you're going to see one of his teammates get pretty salty here. And huh, you got to watch and read those comments. Um, the, the, the guy's being the guy's being an idiot. And, you know, I, I kind of attribute that to people not um, paying attention to the battle around them. I mean, you know, Simon's over here on a flank fighting. He's going to do a ton of damage over here. He's going to come around, and I mean, it's an ace. You know he's going to come around and and probably win this game. Um, if this guy is, if he's still alive, he wasn't hiding, you know? Uh, and for someone to get killed and get salty and assume that the last guy in the team wasn't doing anything and he's, and he's, he's an idiot and everything else is just stupidity. It's stupidity on the part of the guy that dies and bitches. But... You know, we see this a lot in Blitz. We see people just bitch and moan and whine and, you know, what are you going to do? You know, it's, it's, it's in their nature to bitch and moan. They're probably um, upset they got killed. They didn't see the other guy helping them when they, when they wanted them there. 
but not realizing that the whole time Simon was back here whooping some some serious butt. Um, he goes in another reload. He's got the uh, um, FV215B there. He puts a puts a shot in there, finishes him off. Or helps finish them off. Sorry, doesn't get the kill. Um, goes back into a reload and is going to take his time. And you know, that's what I, I'm all for. This is how I like to play. I don't want to rush into things. Um, you know, they don't make a tank, they don't make or sell a tank yet that is uh, invulnerable to damage. So you have to be careful to take your time. He picks up his first kill on on that uh, looked like a VK-72 come around the corner. Um, he puts out a couple more shells and is on a reload again. And wisely, he pulls back and lets that clip get reloaded. And then he's going to look for targets. Looks like they've all crossed when he was over there. Um, it's a uh, four on three. And I think Simon's going to jump down here and come around the back side of those tanks. Um, they just lose the tank, so it's three on three. And Simon is hauling butt. He is doing the best he can. And he's going to get around this corner and have people facing away from him, which is going to be an awesome position to be in. So here we are. One shot, he clears the tank. Two shots, he hits for damage. Guts that guy down almost. A, there's another shot. Uh, here goes the salty player. So pay attention to the chat right now. That guy went down, or maybe it's his next guy that goes down. Yeah, I think it's his next guy. Yep, no, here we go. We're starting to see the things. Report the T-57, blah, blah, blah. Waste of space and all the nonsense the guy's going to write. It's just, you know, guy pay attention to the game, dude. can't see it but he is whooping some butt with some major damage and he's carrying his team and you want to sit there and be an idiot but that's fine that's your right to be an idiot so Simon is reloading his his shells he's got three shells he's got a lot of hit points to go through on on this guy now here's I don't know where this guy goes now he looks like the that remaining tank went over the over the the edge because he goes up here and Simon comes up and he's not here. Um, Simon goes down looking for him and this is nearly going to cost Simon the game because here this guy is going to come up behind him still up on the ridge so he must have went up and backed up and um, I don't know, this 215B is pretty, uh, got pretty lucky there, but Simon dumps some shells into him, knocks him down to where a one clip will, will finish him. Um, he's baiting the guy to come up the hill. He, he knows, you know, that he's got to reload his shells. And so now he comes down, he's still almost, almost finished his reload. Now he's coming around a corner and he just needs this uh, 215B to fire and push forward. He does fire. Um, hit points are very close right now. Simon doesn't want to take a shot. He, get, he gets hit. There's one. There's two for the kill. And gentlemen, that was your number one mat, number one game there of the week. Simon is going to finish with 5,612 damage. Three kills. Ace mastery. That, my friends, was one hell of a game. That, my friends, was episode 98. Next week will be episode 99. Um, can't wait, guys. We are almost there. We're almost there. Hey, great games, guys. Keep them coming. We're counting down to episode 100. As always, thanks for watching. Until next week. Good luck and good hunting. We will see you soon. Bye.